may all beings be happy, may all beings be healthy, may all beings be free from harm, may all beings love life, may all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio mini pod, mini podcast. I'm I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. <clears throat> uh, so today um, we're going to uh, hear an audio clip uh, from uh, a Shunyu Suzuki lecture uh, that he gave on... June 9th, 1971, um, and uh, it was used at the end of chapter 16 of Crooked Cucumber, The Life and Zen Teaching of Shunyu Suzuki, the audiobook, second edition only available on audiobook, and uh, I'm going to read it. And then you will hear him saying it. Your life, you know, from your age of hippie is very different, I think. Your life, you know, from the age of hippie is very different. Your life, you know, from the age of hippie is very different, I think. Time of hippie, you know, different, very Buddhist-like. That is why you like Buddhism. That is why you like Buddhism, maybe. But if you become a Buddhist, your life will change more. More. You will be super hippie, not usual one. So, uh, yes, <laughs> that is, uh, uh, that's true. Uh, I mean, it, uh, Suzuki liked hippies. But he liked the whole hippie thing. He liked it because it brought him lots of students. He liked LSD because it brought him lots of students. And then when they became students, uh, he noticed that whatever baggage they had from uh, their uh, lifestyle that brought them there uh, uh, or what they were in, whatever baggage they brought from whatever they were into, that whatever baggage they had from whatever they were into before they came, and that, that helped to bring them there, uh, the baggage, anyway, faded away. The, the Whatever was in their way would fade away more and more. He wasn't worried about it, you know. Uh, he wasn't worried about uh, a lot of things that people worry about. Now, generally, his students were more serious and worried. Uh, and he'd say, don't be so serious, you know, just, and, and he didn't, you know, then people would, would come to him, oh, there's this terrible problem, so-and-so did something, so-and-so, you know. Uh, we had to deal with things, but um, he really wasn't worried about him. He sort of like a certain amount of chaos, it seems, or a, a certain amount of mess around. He didn't, not everything had to be all uh, in, in uh, lined up straight and with right angles. <laughs> um, and, um, but, uh, you know, he did, uh, you know, Arthur, uh, You know, a professor uh, asked him, uh, a professor asked him, uh, 
what to do about all his students. What does he do about it? But that professor talked to him about how all his students were coming to class stoned and everything. He said, you know, they've, they've gotten really interested in, in uh, you know, in, in, uh, in uh, Buddhism and truth and the fundamental reality of, of religion and life. But... Um, they're stoned, and uh, uh, they, 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 it doesn't make them better students. Uh, what do you do about that? He said, oh, I don't worry about it. They get into zazen and practice, and they forget about that. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, let's, um, let's hear it again from him. This has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Dog at Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and Dear Lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening.